Let's set up a Kubernetes master node on Google Cloud Platform virtual machine. So we're going to start out by creating a virtual machine in Google Cloud Platform. I'm going to choose an N2 or N1 standard 2 machine. Switch over to the Ubuntu image. And leave everything else the same. We're going to choose a name that reflects something simple for us to remember. So master one, we're gonna also reference that in the configurations. There we go. Let's just connect to it. Once we're connected to the machine, the first thing we're going to do is set up apt. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new sources list file. Actually, I'm gonna sudo su and everything we're going to do here is going to be as a super user for this initial part just to make life simple. Um, we're going to go ahead and create the sources Kubernetes sources list and then grab the uh, GPG key for the packages. Once we have that we can go ahead and update and upgrade so everything will be current. There we go. Now let's go ahead and install Docker. Let's install Cubatom, Kubelet and Q control. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and set up a Cubatom configuration file because Cubatom provisions our nodes here. And there are two important things to consider. One is our instance name. Now you can configure this through a host, or in our case, we're using GCP, so we're just gonna go ahead and use the name of our instance, which was master1, right there. And then the pod subnet. We're just gonna stick with uh, 192.168.0.0. You'll see it references a Calco default configuration for that pod network later. Very simple. So no, now we can use kubeatom to init our node. Configuration file is the local one. We'll upload certs, but <clears throat> we actually don't need to, I don't believe right now. There we go. Now we'll follow the rest of these instructions to finish setting up our local user. I'm gonna exit out from sudo and copy this so that we can just create a local cube configuration so cube control can work. There we go. It's not ready, but cube control works. We've got a local Kubernetes instance, a master. And now we can go ahead and install a pod network. I'm just gonna go ahead with uh, curl. It's just as simple as applying a configuration file. So I'm gonna go ahead and fetch the configuration file for Calico or Project Calico. Uh, it is one of many available pod networking utilities, or pod networks, excuse me. And in this instance, if you changed the configuration for kubeatom config that we had in our roots. So let's see if I can just, there, it's in my own folder. So if you change this pod subnet to anything other than 192.168.0.16, you're gonna wanna configure this. You're gonna wanna configure your Calico IPv4 pool range or pool and it's right here. I think this is line 600 and 
30. But we have it the same, so we're just going to go ahead and apply this. And there's our pod network. All namespaces. There we go. Done.